Fundstrats Tom Lee says there's an outside chance the Fed might not raise rates at all in 2023. And if that happens, stocks are going to rally in a big way. Tom is a CNBC contributor. He joins us now. Tom, good to see you. Um, happy holidays. So, wait a minute, though. Okay, if, if the Fed doesn't hike at all in 23, doesn't that mean that the economy has deteriorated, maybe even fallen apart to the point where stocks will, too? Hi, John. Uh, I think that's people's first conclusion if they think the Fed's pausing. But I think a, another reason the central banks can actually pause is if inflation is indeed tracking lower than they expected. Last week, the December FOMC, their projections for inflation at the end of this year was 4.8%. Uh, that's using on um, PCE. They had raised it from 4.5% in September. We just got November PCE. And if November, which was a tame number, is the same in December, year-over-year -year inflation is going to be 4.2% versus what they expected to be 4.8%. That's 60 basis points lower than what the Fed expected. So if you had to say- Do you think they really the pause Fed, entirely with that, though? Or just go to uh, 25 basis points? Well, John, one thing to keep in mind is inflation for the last three months has annualized at 2% a month. If we get December, that's another month of that at 2%. And housing, as we know, is starting to soften so, in fact, 60% of core inflation, which is housing, is softening. I'd, I actually think with the run rate for inflation into the first half of next year could be even below 2%. I don't think investors right. are going to want the Fed to be raising rates in that environment. In fact, the bond market, I well, think... Yeah, I mean, is, I don't think, think investors so. want the Fed to be raising rates this much even now. But don't you think the Fed still will? I mean, really, do you think they'll pause even if we hit those, those numbers that you said? It's a great question, John. I'm just, I think one thing to point out is the bond market is already assuming the Fed may indeed not raise rates next year. Uh, I, I'm sure a lot of your uh, prior guests have noted the two-year uh, is actually exactly where the midpoint of Fed funds is. So it's kind of saying the Fed isn't yeah. going to raise rates. But, you know, before the next meeting, which is in at the end of January, February 1, you're going to get a couple of inflation prints. You know, you're going to get CPI and PCE. And you're going to get jolts. And if, if the labor market is softening and we get another tame inflation number, I think it's going to be hard for the Fed to say, well, inflation was 60 base points lower in 2022. It's continuing to be pretty soft, but we still want to raise rates. I, I think that's one scenario that we need to keep in mind. The Fed is, is, is becoming data dependent. It's not in a hurry anymore to raise rates. Okay.